right now. Let's get back to the studio right here. We have something special for you. We are now joined by one of the top receivers in the 2019 NFL Draft presented by Verizon. Now, here's the thing. When these young pups come on here, I don't really give them the NFL player treatment because they're not NFL players yet. Yeah. But I hype it based on how they come in. Mm. Are they articulate? Mm-hmm. Do they dress well? Do they present themselves well? Mm-hmm. Presentation. So mm-hmm. how I introduce them, we'll tell you how I feel about it. All right, them. let's now, see. He snagged in 54 catches, Woo! 917 yards. He ranked sixth in the country with 13 TDs last season. He also led the South squad with 64 receiving yards and a touchdown in the senior bowl. Yeah. Please welcome out of West Virginia <laughs> University, Gary Jennings Jr. Yeah. 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 What's up, young man? How you doing? Doing all right. He must not like you. Ah, you know, I I like him. He came in looking good. He looks the part, speaks the part. Now, let's talk a little football, but we'll talk about the draft in a second. I want to talk feathers. Uh, (laughs) You put feathers in your helmet, like actual feathers. So, one, I want to know, when did this all start? What type of feathers are they? Here we are. You can kind of see them right there. What kind of bird is this? Are you going to continue this in the NFL? Talk to me. Well, it originally started uh, my junior uh, junior summer season. Okay. And before practice, you know, I felt something swoop down. I'm like, what was that? Second time, it was, and I just, bam, a bird, I hit a bird. No. <laughs> Randy Johnson style? Uh, Randy, yeah. bam, hit a bird. And some feathers were left behind as a result, but the bird got away safely. Okay, good. And ever good. since, uh, just stuck feathers in my helmet. Uh, Where do you get them? Where do uh, the Rich, feathers oh, come from? I mean, I have a few teammates, you know, Got an offensive tackle that yeah. goes hunting a lot, and he'll We're give you the bird. Standing in feathers, yeah. bro. He's got it. Are you like going to continue it in the league? Yes. Yes. They don't find me. <laughs> they don't find me. Probably do some pregame yeah. wow. stuff. Okay. All right. I like that. That's new. I, I got to tell you, you were put on my radar at Senior Bowl because you were crushing it. We were hearing things here all the way in New York with how well that week went for you with practicing and with playing against, honestly, some of the best players in this upcoming draft. What was your biggest takeaway from that experience? Because I don't know if it was the feathers or what, but you mm-hmm. crushed it. I mean, my biggest takeaway was just proving to everyone that I really deserve to be there. Uh, I got the invite late, you know, in that process, and actually the Friday before. And it was just more of a going in and like, dang, like, I can, I'm able to show myself on this stage and I'm able to really show what I can do. Do you have a chip on your shoulder a little bit, oh, you think? A big chip, a whole potato. You, oh, also, yeah. have, you also have a little oh, bit of right. a celebration after your touchdown during mm-hmm. that game itself. So what is the story behind the dance that we saw? And uh, can we see the dance? Do we got the dance? We need a live performance. Come on now. Oh, we need a live performance. Here we go. Hey, 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 hey. 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 <laughs> so you just found out you were going to play on Friday. Did you hey. coordinate this? What's the story? I mean, the whole thing of dance is you got to just let it flow. Okay. You know, with things, you got to let it flow. Okay. But um, it was a fad, you know, at West Virginia. It's a whole fad around the country, too, as well. And, That's facts. you know, it just came. Can we get a little that. something right now? Just put... Hey. hey. <laughs> I love it. Kyle, your turn. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. Stop. Stop right. embarrassing me in front bye, of Bye, bye, bye. Right. Um, Come on, man. We don't want to revoke your pass dance. to the barbecue. I'm going to injure myself. You were doing your own kind of dance at the combine, too. This guy showed up at the combine. 4-4-2 four, four, in the 40. That's one of those quality 4-4s. Four, you didn't sneak in at 4-4-9. Four, four, Talk You're about like, it. 4-4-2. Four, four, That's legit. You put up 20 reps at 225. It's fantastic. Woo. So did this change your life? Did this change your trajectory? What did you do at the Combine to set you up to be drafted high? And how did it feel after this? I mean, it was kind of funny. For some reason, uh, a lot of people didn't think I was that fast, you know. So at the Combine, you know, I proved my speed. You know, I proved uh, I interviewed well, you know. So it was more of a a face-to-face type of thing. And... Mm. You know, it set me up for success. I love it. Okay, now speaking of success, there's a ton of players in the NFL that are already successful, and we love comparisons mm-hmm. when it comes to draft picks. Um, what's the NFL comparison of a guy that's successful in the league right now at wide receiver position? I would say more of like a Muhammad, like Muhammad Sanu, like okay. Anquan Bolden type of player. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. Whoa. That's Nate's yeah. draft class. What? Yeah. Hey, Quan <laughs> came out on fire his rookie yeah. season. <laughs> so will I. Ooh! Oh! Okay. Okay. Yes. Get about 100 catches as a rook. Eating out of your hand. This one over here. He's such a fan. He's like following you on Instagram now. Oh my God. But I want I to talk the about these talk. meetings that you have to undergo. Because I asked you before you came on, are you nervous? Are you excited? You said you're excited and you're ready for this moment. Mm-hmm. It's got to be wild though to have to go into a room by yourself, meeting some of these big wigs at these uh, different places and different stops that you're making through your process. What's been the biggest surprise for you? 
in Main, these meetings. Mainly how like in depth they go into actually finding out who you are as a player and your knowledge of the game. You know, they do a, they do a lot of things to they go from a lot of different angles to be able to find that out. Mm. So just with you know with weird like information, psych- yeah, weird information, psychological questions and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So you know, it's pretty in depth. Not not like this table, huh? No, no. Not like this. A little bit it's a little bit more laid back. <laughs> well, <laughs> Welcome to the table. There's sort of a rite of passage at this table before the draft. We like to do some with prospects like yourself. Okay. Right now, it's a little early in the morning in Arizona. The okay. owners are there. The GMs are there. They have this program on, the league's network, in the hotel, in the mm-hmm. lobby. Mm-hmm. True. What we want you to do, Gary Okay. Jones, okay. is look into this camera. All right. Right, All right. there. Okay. And explain to them... Why they should draft Gary Jennings in the 2019 NFL Draft? Tell it to them because they're watching. I'm the mo- I'm I'm a complete package. Mm. You know, I have speed. Mm. I have strength. Woo. I have for- and above all that, you know, I'm smart too as well. Oh. And my dedication is second to none. Okay. So whatever team you know is that's that I'm honored. That I'll be honored to go to. Okay. You know, I wouldn't let them down. Okay, That's he's it. coming strong he'd with it. honored to go to. I yeah. love that. We've not heard that yes. in one of those <laughs> routines before. You're right about that. That was actually well done, man. Well, listen, okay. we appreciate you, man. We'll you got your head on it. right. Shout out Thank to you. the family in the background. Big bro with his glasses we on. We love that your family came up this early. Thank you guys. Mama, you raised him right. What's the- he's going to do his thing in the league. Good luck, man. And definitely anything you need once you come to the league, come back to GMFB, man. We hey, got most, you. Most definitely. Don't forget about the little people here. That's yeah. right. You guys, are, you guys are big dogs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gary Dennis to you, everybody. Great job, Gary. Great job. Great job. Good Great luck. Job. Can't wait to see where you end up. And speaking of honor, in honor oh. of the coach's breakfast yesterday, okay. we will tell you who we'd love to have breakfast with. Okay. Doug? I'm going to go. Look at, oh, man, Doug. i got to have a conversation with Doug. Doug, beat up. He's, he's wounded. He's got a scooter. He had surgery. <laughs> I feel for Doug. Tom. We'll be back plus a few minutes later. Here we'll sit down with Giants GM Dave Gettleman. He'll say, he'll say, yo, Gary. Well, why is he rubbing his Gary needs like to be on your balls. team. <laughs> Gary Jennings needs to hang out with the Giants, maybe. Sure. That'll be the discussion after this. Just give me an offer I can't refuse, right. Kyle. What stage of transition is Lenzo's going to be for that? Those are little ones getting right there. I know. They were middle pins.